Tell him get back, stop stealing my flow. Fuck on that hoe and she give me some talk. Yeah, little bitch, and start his shots. I let that 40 pop. This is 12 year old Fort Worth rapper Little Rodney. He is from one of the most dangerous and notorious neighborhoods in Fort Worth called Stop Six. And this is his story. All right, so he's on probation for arson. He's accused of shooting a baby at 11 years old. And then we bring him back in. He's been on the run and he's smoking weed. Yes, Your Honor. Okay. Anything else I'm missing about him? Nope, that's about it, Your Honor. All right, Mr. Moore. Hey, look what I found. All right? I know 11 year olds are supposed to have guns, All right? After they've been accused of shooting a baby. All right, yes, so Mr. Moore, what should I do at this point? Like, where am I at? Oh, I was, see, I, this time I wasn't gonna cook, but like. Don't I, say that, okay? Not right now. You are gonna want to talk to your attorney first. Yes, ma'am. Well, I was, I don't know, but I was trying to see, could you at least give me one more chance and then see if, if, if this time I mess up, you should like hold me for some months. Yeah, but didn't you say that last time? You told me you told me to hold you for a year last time if I mess up, didn't you? I never said that. I don't remember. What? Yeah, you told me that I can hold you next time. Give me one more chance. Actually, you said that two two times. So I remember the last time I said, "Well, that's what you said last time. Why should I? Why should I believe you this time?" All I was trying to do was go to my friend's funeral. And I asked Mr. Spence, and he said no. And then I missed Javi and stuff, because I was in here. And every time, I hurt every time I miss one of my friends, so I, I tried to go to the funeral. I'm a cut to the banks and let a hundred out. Uh -huh. It ain't gonna be a hood fight shit. When them eight start jumping out. When it got caught in the club, and they stomped them out. Screaming free KD, why you ain't blowing them out? Insane ape, we'll knock your crew. You the same push nigga, I drive by boo. You not about that life and you not gonna you shoot. Not. You don't want war, you ain't got no you truth. Not. That nigga just capping on rap ass. I'm a silly bitch, I will a Zach ass. Uh. I'm still in the trap with the glad bag. Ape gang throwing bullets, no fast bag. I know I'm real disrespectful with my black ass. Uh. Six shots said a fuck nigga, go street. Who fight gang gang bitch, they the police. You nigga, I'm forever be hoes. I think that's the real reason you niggas scream so for But the thing is, Rodney, if you want to be treated, treated like an adult, you do adult things, and then you're asking me to treat like an adult. So, I don't know why you cry so much. Right? I mean, you going around pointing guns, and now you're accused of shooting a little kid. And then, I know what's going on. I know what's going on over at Parks Mall. Rodney, he just be talking, y'all look, y'all want me to give him a wedgie or not on God? On God, I'll give him a wedgie right now on Jesus. I won't. Look, he finna run on God. You walking with the baby savage, bro. The baby, baby savage. You looking for me and PMG, ain't it? <laughs> I'm finna go get full of this J-Dub pack, nigga. Fuck J-Dub, nigga. This nigga a bitch, nigga. I was gonna let him make it, but I know he was. See what I'm saying? I'ma go and stop yelling on game. <laughs> and I'm still in this bitch one deep. Anyone y'all feel like he too young for me, whatever, I'm still at parks on God. Pull down on oh Jesus. What's poppin', bro? What's up? That nigga got big like Damn. <laughs> Everybody tell me I should've beat his ass. I caught his ass by baby footlock. <laughs> I caught his ass by baby footlock and then he twist loud around. Y'all listen to the last story the loud. Like, stop yelling, stop yelling. I'ma I'm catch his ass. <laughs> Why, why you come back? Why you come back? Why you come? Why you come back? Why you come back? Why you come back? Nigga, nigga, I'm your daddy, nigga. I'm your daddy. Nigga, I'm your daddy. Nigga, I'm your daddy. Shut up. Nigga, I'm your daddy. Nigga, shut up. Nigga, I'm your daddy. Nigga, I'm your motherfucking daddy. Shut up, nigga. Fuck. You, Lamar, you crying? Lamar, let me see your face. Lamar, let me see your face. I know what's going on out on the street. Like I know all this, right? Yes, sir. I understand you're just causing problems everywhere you go. Here's the thing, Rodney, right? I'm not going to let you go. Because I know you're going to go out there, you can handle more guns, maybe somebody else gets shot, right? I know you can go out there, you're going to make more videos about Judge Kim, right? Because I've seen those two. I made another video about you. That was the only video. Right? So, you know, this is one of those things. I know you're going to go out and you're going to do your thing and, uh, and cause more problems. So, here's the thing. 
you're, you're not as tough as you think you are, all right? You're not as tough as you're trying to make yourself out to be, right? You're not. I mean, you're just causing problems and you're making people pick sides. And the thing is, everyone that's picking a side is losing. They're all losing because they're, you know what? They're picking a side over you, a kid that's just trying to milk the system. So anyways, you know, before I used to make a deal saying you get to level 1-0 and I'll let you out on the monitor again. At this point, I'm detaining you and I'm just going to figure out, we'll see how you do. I'm going to leave it open-ended. You may stay here till you're 19 years old. I haven't decided yet. So yeah, that is the rapper Lil Rodney at the tender age of 12, a kid with so much talent, potential, energy, abrasiveness. It's just a damn shame that he doesn't have the proper people around him to channel that energy in a more positive direction. You see, most people may look at Lil Rodney's story and they might just write him off as a statistic. He's gonna be dead, he's gonna be in jail, the kid doesn't stand a chance, he ain't gonna make it. I don't feel that way. I see glimmer of hope in the kid because when I look at Lil Rodney, that's me. I was Lil Rodney. I mean, I didn't shoot a one year old, but you damn right I had behavioral issues growing up. You damn right I joined the gang growing up, but now I'm a productive member of society. And I think that this kid can make that same change, but you have to take him out of that environment. That environment that this kid is living in breeds complacency, degeneracy, and violence, and he won't do well in that environment. But if you take him outside that environment, the skies is the limit for this kid. And I don't have a problem with him rapping. I think the kid is a talented rapper. I just don't like his subject matter. There's many things you can rap about besides gun, violence, and game banging. Hey, Lil Rodney, you're such a talented rapper. Why won't you use that skill for something good? I got a seven year old son. You can make YouTube videos, rapping mathematics, teaching kids how to read. Why do you want to use your talent for that? That's many ways you can harbor that talent. So yeah, man, I'm gonna keep this one short. It's quite simple. I still think there's hope for the kid, but I know a lot of people want to throw the kid away because they say he shot a one-year-old. I don't really know the story behind that. I don't know if it was accidental. I don't know if he was shooting at somebody else. I don't know. But all I'm saying, just looking at this kid, seeing what's presented in front of me, you take him outside that environment, I think the sky's is the limit. He's a very smart kid, and just the environment just breeding complacency trust me i know it but anyway guys this is cut to the chase tv hit that like and subscribe button make sure you share this video i love you guys peace